I just want to give you guys a couple of pieces of information about France after the revolutions of 1848. And if you recall, in 1848, the French elect Napoleon's nephew, Louis Napoleon, the president of the Second French Republic. A couple years later, he dissolves the Second French Republic and starts the Second French Empire with himself as Emperor Napoleon III. Now, Napoleon III initially has a fairly successful run as emperor, and he does a bunch of things that really boost the economy. Most notably, and something that I would like you to be aware of um, again and again this year, is the Suez Canal, which is built under Napoleon III in 1869. And this is a very important shortcut, really, a canal that links Europe to India and Asia beyond uh, by, cut, by linking the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea. And you can see from this graphic, it shaves about 6,000 kilometers off the overall trip. Today, not such a big deal. And if you look at this picture, you can see that the canal is not particularly wide. And so the modern super tankers don't often use the canal because, you know, they're just quite frankly too big for it. And also because going around Africa today with our faster ships is not uh, so crucial. But back in 1869 and at some other points in history which we will be discussing, the Suez Canal is in fact very important um, and was definitely a success for Napoleon III. On the other hand, a disastrous failure and ultimately causing the demise of Napoleon III is the Franco-Prussian War, which resulted in the capture and defeat of Napoleon within a couple months of fighting. Uh, in September of 1870, so a mere two months after the war begins, Paris is under siege and we have this provisional government that's running France. It's important to note that the siege of Paris was pretty violent. I mean, there is bombarding with bombs and the Parisians have to go to great lengths to take care of the treasures from the Louvre and, and put all the, the artwork underground and whatnot. So the city gets des destroyed. But it's also this four month period where there is no food coming into the city. And so we've got Parisians eating rats and really horses. About 65,000 horses were eaten during this four-month period. And ultimately, just for a food source, the Parisians are forced to eat their zoo animals, elephants and camels, also kangaroos and antelope. They do not eat lions and tigers. They were afraid to even try to capture the lions and tigers. They were too ferocious. And they actually didn't eat monkeys either. And if you think back to Charles Darwin and the origin of species, people are starting to accept the notion of evolution. And they're sort of afraid that perhaps maybe we have a common ancestor with the monkeys and therefore it really would not be cool to eat monkey. That would be sort of cannibalistic. However, eating elephant and camel is humiliating. And, you know, you have to remember that this inspires this desire for revenge and really sets the stage for a very acrimonious relationship between France and Germany for the next, um, you know, several decades. Okay. Ultimately, uh, we have the provisional government surrendering in 1871. Elections are held and the Third French Republic is established. They're the ones that negotiate peace with the newly formed German Empire. So for a brief while, if you remember, Germany occupies France, they occupy Paris. Kaiser Wilhelm is crowned Emperor of Germany at Versailles. Um, as a result of the peace treaty, France had to pay an indemnity, about 5 billion francs. They had to give up Alsace and Lorraine. The Red Republicans in Paris were outraged at these terms, and they rebelled, and they formed their own government called the Paris Commune, which actually um, was successful in getting parts of Paris rebuilt, but ultimately the Republican army forced a second siege of Paris and crushed the Commune shooting 20,000 Paris Commune members dead. Okay, so the Third French Republic, it lasts for a long time, but the Paris Commune is, you know, one of the many scandals that the French Republic was known for, and the other one is the Dreyfus Affair.